Welcome to another Jaeger Gaming video! I'm here with The Memory of Eldorim, a alpha RPG that is now available on Steam. As you can see, the pr oh, this is a pre-alpha prototype, which explains why it's much smaller than most alphas. Anyways, and they apologize for any bugs, but they are incredible. Look up Liminal Games. I love this game. I tried to make a video before, but I forgot that I reset the I changed the key to to begin recording so you know kind of thought I was recording when I wasn't and we're gonna see if this game actually saves my progress which I didn't hit save there isn't a save but I don't know ah. in that day the trees shall cry I'm not t sure what day it's talking about but the trees shall cry on that day the earth shall burn well that's not very fun New bonds must be formed, forged, not formed, forged, which is not a bad thing. And ancient pacts must be broken. And this was said by Veneer, the High Seer of Man Manoril. Cool, I guess. Anyways, <clears throat> controls. Wazd for the player position. Basic. Left click to attack. Left mouse. Pfft. Oh, left mouse and shift to power attack. Should have read this all before, but I didn't. That would have been helpful. Right mouse to block. Have that. Space to jump. Control to dodge. Would have been helpful too. Shift to sprint. F is spell 1. Knew that. R is spell 2. You don't have a spell 2 yet. And Q is to use a vial, which I don't think I have any vials yet. Oh, and it did save my character. Yay. Okay, so shift, left click. Yeah, that's cool. Originally, you just start off with, uh, here. I'll show you what, you start off with, sorry, this is, the mouse is a little hard to control, but you start off with the Elderia breastplate, the boots, the pants, and I don't think you start off, yeah, you don't have a helmet. And you can find a wooden short bow on that table over there. But anyways, you also start with the fire shard burning hands thing where you shoot fire from your hands, which is, the basic spell and I found this mate you start off with one of the swords by the way uh, I found this mace and all my armor and wooden shield off of enemies you start with a basic wooden shield but this one is better and hey look the bow is actually here to again it's really annoying <laughs> I'm not not annoying but like odd I guess okay so when I first thought I was recording I went and fought some skeletons. And that was kind of boring. It was not difficult at all, but I got then then I kind of continued on and found a human enemy sitting on a bridge and he attacked me and I took his armor and then fought more of the Valerian soldiers, which is what he was and let's going to let's go talk to some peasants. Okay, this peasant doesn't give a shit about me. He likes to look at the rocks. Those are actually some very nice rocks, I understand. Okay, how about this peasant? Peasant, I am your king. I kill you. Peasant? Wait, I can push him. Oh, the music was perfect timing, too. Aha! Aha! Oh, hold on. <laughs> eh, it was okay. That city, I want to go up there, but I don't know how. There's a bridge that probably leads there, but I, I don't know how to access it, and this is the wrong way. I'm not sure where, I guess I was over there when I found, like, the rest of the Valerian soldiers, but, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. And hey, my health increased, which reminds me of the skill system in this game, which is truly the best skill system I've ever heard of in a game. Uh, also, he runs like Sonic, so he's pretty, he's pretty baller. <laughs> I hate that word. It's not even a word, but whatever. Just push him. But anyways. Uh, the skill system in this game is not, oh, I kill a bunch of enemies, I get XP, I level up, and I somehow magically get better at blacksmithing. No. You blacksmith a lot, and you get better at blacksmithing. You swing your mace a lot, and you get better at swinging your mace. The skills are, it's like a dynamic skill system where you get better when you do things. Like, 
the more I run, the more uh, stamina I have, or endurance, which is, the, I started off with 100, and now I have 104, and I started off with 100 health, and I got 103 from my combat, and now we're going to attack some of these skeletons, because skeletons suck, and I'd love to show off the combat system with these skeletons and destroy them. The combat, it's not, it's fast paced, it's really fast paced, but most RPGs, uh, it's really simple, you just kind of stand there and you hit them and they die. But this one, they deal a good, good bit of damage and they have a, quite a bit of health. Uh, if I can hit one, that, nine damage. They don't have as much health as the Aldaran soldiers, so which this mace is meant to take care of them, but... Yeah, these might die in a couple hits. <laughs> yeah, soups. Okay, well now it's a lot easier, but when you first start off, it, these guys take, like, 20, 30 hits. Like, they are strong, and holy crap, he has a better shield than I have. Yeah, my invent is kind of getting full. That's not very good. He doesn't have anything good, because he's not glowing. But uh, green items seem to be good, better than white items, and blue items seem to be better than green items. And now I'm going to go to the bridge and show you the guy that I fought earlier, where I first got this kind of armor, instead of just my normal peasant armor. Which, the bridge is over here. Oh, and look at that fire animation. It's beautiful, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that uh, the different effects and stuff are going to be refined in the full version or later in the alpha pre-alpha whatever but so far so far can't speak today but so far i love this game it has so much potential and i want to see it prosper liminal games or liminal i don't know really how to pronounce it blair and soldier with his they actually have a pretty good like oh did i hit him Bit. what <laughs> <laughs> the enemies in this game have a really good AI kind of really good AI for pre-alpha. Uh, I can't hit him. Oh, whoa, 15 damage! Holy crap! But uh, anyways, Liminal Games did a superb jar job with Jerb today. Liminal Games did a superb Jerb. But anyways, sim Liminal Games did a superb job with this game. It looks incredible. This is the lowest graphics quality because the world, it kind of renders the entire world, so it renders a lot, and it's really hard on my computer, my relatively expensive computer with a good processor, but anyways, they did a great job. The graphics are, look really nice. I mean, they're going to be refined, but look at this water. Oh, and I can swim. Oh, I haven't swam yet. Oh. Oh, look at that. I'm just kind of holding all of my gear while I swim. Do I, can I float? Oh, I thought he was going to just take me back to the bridge because of the flow of water. That would be a cool thing. Oh, and... What is going on? Are my eyes, like, my person's eyes need to adjust? Oh, that's... That's nice. That's kind of like the Skyrim thing. I don't want to compare this too much to Skyrim. Because... In... Like, I believe that it is tech kind of, well, not, it's hard to say. Like, I think that this game has the potential to be better than Skyrim. Not currently right now, it is not really better than Skyrim because it's pre-alpha. But I believe that if the developers work hard enough, which I believe they will because Liminal Games, I mean, they've clearly been working hard to make this already. This is pre-alpha. Like, this is really good for a pre-alpha. I want to go to the bridge. But, anyways. I believe that this has the potential to be an absolutely, like, monstrous, like, com competitor with Skyrim. And the developers have a bright future ahead for them. Like, I would love to talk to them. I'm kind of flying, though. Anyways. I would love to talk to them and learn how to do this kind of thing because I am interested in game development and I would love to learn how to work with like engines and 
how to design a world like this. Even it, in this early stage, so much thought has been gone, going into this world. Like the Alderan soldiers who attacked me on sight, and the different, like the so guards that were in my town are completely different from the Alderan soldiers. And this is the, this is where I left off in my last one. It's only been 10 minutes, so I'll go check it out. This is an Alderan camp, I'm pretty sure, because it, the guy that guards the bridge over there is an Alderan soldier. But it looks nice. If you can tell, if you, I think you can tell that it's a little clunky, like the graphics, my characters, kind of moving clunkily, and it's kind of jumping around. But there's, it's kind of expected in a pre-alpha game that one, it's going to be pretty PC intensive because it hasn't been refined and made smaller, and well, just, the, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I'm really bad at describing things, but this game, it's pre-alpha. I can't expect as much as, like, if I was playing one of my g favorite games, like Kingdoms of Amalur, which this has the potential to beat, once again. Which I think K Kingdoms of Amalur did beat Skyrim, but, you know, Skyrim is a bigger name, and yeah, all that crap. Yeah, yeah but this is, like, a perfect system, like, this is a perfect way to show the AI. The characters try to get behind me so that I think I can't hit them, but they can hit me. And I'm doing the same thing for them. So we're kind of doing a loop around each other. And sometimes they get me down to, like, 20 health, and I have to back off. Battle leads us way or Like, it could end up by the rocks or over by the camp. Like, it can run for a long time. But, yeah, this is a perfect way to show you how much health these guys have. I've hit him so many times, he's hit me so many times. We're both healing, we're both getting stronger. I'm pretty sure I'm ta gi giving more damage than I was before. Boom. Oh, God. I'm gonna light you on fire. Yeah. Look at that fire. Look how much pain he's in. The fire kinda goes out fast, though. I think the fire should stay around longer. Yeah. Oh, God. Broken. But, yeah, it's the first time I've actually seen the AI kind of break like that. But this is, I mean, this game, <laughs> the, I can't describe with words how much I love this combat. It's not, I just run up and two, three hits, he's dead. He's regenerating, I'm regenerating, he's hitting me pretty damn hard. And I'm hitting him back just as hard. He's not overpowered for me, I don't, I haven't encountered something that was overpowered powered for me, but he's also not underpowered. I haven't encountered something that was underpowered until those skeletons. But then again, I was supposed to be, like, gone. I wasn't supposed to be facing them still. I was supposed to be moving on to this point. But anyways, <clears throat> this is the game. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, sorry. I'm, it's hard to concentrate, think of things to say while I'm also trying to win a battle and not take too much damage. Because, you know, this game is hard enough when I'm just thinking by myself and not speaking. Uh, just die already so I can give good commentary. Please. I, I don't want this video to suck. <laughs> uh. Okay. He should be like six hits away. I'm getting hit. I'm hitting him pretty hard, though. Come on. Oh, oh, he's hitting me. Ooh. Slam him. I hit him for nine. Ah, he's blocking. Oh, what the heck? I can't hit him with my power attack. This is so hard. <laughs> but I love it. It's so fun. Listen to that epic background battle music. Listen to it and love it. But yeah, this is so much fun. And look at that sunset. We're just fighting on the beach as the sun sets. And I have to focus on him rather than the sunset. Because I keep running towards the sunset rather than attacking him. And die already! Yeah, this might... Some people might be annoyed by this. Like, this is a long battle with one enemy. I can't even imagine how long it would take. 
to go through it like a dungeon of different creatures and different skeletons, and I bet you can hear my mouth clicking, and it's, oh, it's been te five minutes since I went into this cave, and it's just now, like, I haven't even beaten one enemy, <laughs> but this guy's, he's jumping around, he's doing really well, it's not a dumb, like, random enemy that doesn't matter, won't affect the game, this guy could legitimately kill me if I wasn't, ar well, armored. I don't mean to like keep putting down other RPGs, but this game just seems, in theory, better than RPGs that I've played before. Like, in other RPGs, you could probably beat a lot of the early enemies with your fists. It's not hard. But these, this guy, he's taken hits, he's given them, I'm on 95 health, like, only done 8 damage, but I am keep re regenerating, he keeps regenerating. If you noticed earlier, I got him down to the pink, and then he came went back to orange. So he regenerated a, quite a bit of health right there. and he's, It's just a good battle, a well-balanced battle. I don't, I don't know why most RPGs aren't this balanced, and hey, look, I got another uh, health point. That's good. But he dropped a blue item. It's not. Oh, the mace is still better. It's not the blue item, but it's still better than my old one. And I have a lot of shit that is. I have a gory shield now. It's weaker. But whatever. Oh, here's the. Holy crap! Health plus seven point two. Oh, I have my pants in this game. Regenerate. Uh, give me. Oh wait, no, not the pants. The helmet? Yeah, the helmet gives me 0.1 regeneration, which is really, really nice. Uh, 7.6 health. Why are these just better? It's, maybe I was wrong about the colors. Maybe uh, green is better than blue? But yeah, these can give me a lot more health. Holy shit. There we go. Now I'm just better. It's been 17 minutes, so I might call it quits before I get into another battle, but let's see. Let's end it on the beach. Look at the water. It just looks so serene. I just want to swim in it. La 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 I'm actually absolutely terrified. I hate water in video games. It scares the shit out of me. Like, I feel like there's going to be living creatures down there. And they're going to attack me, and I'm going to be scared. Yeah, my dar my deepest, darkest fear is video game water. But especially video, ga video game oceans. Like, I do... In Skyrim, I never swam in the water. I refused. Uh, in... Kingdoms of Am Amalur. Well, they kind of... I trusted their water, because it was clear. Like, I could see through it. Oh, that scared me. But anyways, I'm going to end it here. So... Overall, I love this game. It has so much potential. And you should buy it. You should all buy it. It's only $20 on Steam. Which, I mean... That might be a lot to you. It might not. I don't know. But I think it's... Well worth the money. It's... Going to get so much better. And... It's made by... An, the, it's the first game made by li Liminal Games. Laminal Games. And... As an indie developer, for like I like their indie developers. It's the first game. I would love to see all of you support them. I'd love to see all of you give them, like, show your appreci appreciation, appreciate, uh, show how much you care about indie developers and how they are important to the game world, so that we don't have just game monopolies like EA that everyone. Everyone kind of sets their game morals against them. But anyways, I've ranted long enough. You've seen this game. You know if you... The ocean kind of disappeared when I looked away. But anyways, you know if you're going to buy it. You know if you want it. But I highly recommend, recommend it. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Bye.